I want Jax. I want Renekton. I want something that can actually force fights on the side lane. Looks pretty doable. Let's see how that's the response. It's hard though. It's hard. They're gonna lose the minions now in a couple of seconds. And you can see there's a double knock up. Nicely done there by Acidy, who's taking down a little bit more. Marky gets killed back. And yes, it's a one for one, but that is always worth it for the weak side, top side. So let's see how Moby start deal with this and how Acidy responds again. Yeah, well, they're gonna try and maybe make this one work. There is the Weaver's Wall as they try to come out. The Ornhorn here. It's not gonna really kind of stop him from doing everything, but it's a clean dive regardless. And Mobby Star do get their man, but it does mean that you're trading it back for a dragon. So not all is lost here for Machiko. With all of this mounted pressure for Marky uh, that continues to stack up, pick up the Herald very early on. Oh my Ooh. god, that interrupt. They get the interrupt, they get the flick back, and they wow. get themselves the kill. Really well done there by Avaro. And honestly, 6-10, he just needed to kind of back himself away a little bit quicker. Even technically, I think Super might have prior down there, but we don't oh, really need to focus on the Seaboy, oh. however. Yeah, they just had full eyes on him. They knew exactly where he was, what he was doing, and he just gets absolutely punished. Now, Mobistar are kind of without a big engaging ultimate available for them for this next fight, but 610, you do not have vision. You need to make sure you're not getting caught out. The gravity stream is going to be able to push him back. He's trying to do as much as he can, but I think he's just going to be good. going down as I say that. He's good for the moment because he's able to kite it out. The rest of his team comes in and helps him get out. Now you've got Super coming in. There's not going to be a Zaya joining onto this one here, so it's a natural 4v3 in favor of Mami Star. They try to go in on the tower. Super takes a couple of shots from the turret. Click is not ready in a position no to defend himself. Flash forward. One more auto attack is good, but Super gives up his life. It ends up being a two for one in favor of the side of Machko, and they have their side laners. But are they going to feel safe to kind of go for this? It is going to be Marky with the first rotation. You can see there. Don't feel like Machiko can really go for this one here. That's a bit greedy there for a ward. They're going to throw down the ultimate as well. The Weaver's Wall oh, to try and shock. stop off everybody. They're seeing if they can put down this 80 carry damage. They will take down one. Double knock up. And Isma's forced to flash away. It's a two for one trade. And the dragon in favor of Mobistar Riders. Yeah, you can see the plan for Machiko right now is just going to hold off. Don't overextend yourself. Don't panic. Oh, okay. Mobistar, they wanted to go for something here. Super gets knocked up. They're putting a lot of damage onto Isma, who doesn't have a flash, and he is shut down. The reset's coming in from 610. A hop, skip, and a jump as he's starting to really put in those auto attacks. Yeah, they want to get the TP out of here of the Chilia and immediately go for it. The TP's coming in, but they might just fully commit to this one now. Isma's going to have to get over the wall. Oh, he goes no. in straight away, but he's a little bit early. He gets popped out. They're going to try and burst it down. They will. Now the Baron is gone. They can take the fight. There's going to be the ultimate from the Talia, but Alvaro tries to go in onto the 280 carries, and he immediately has taken out. Oh, now super. you can see Super right onto the backside, but he's got himself isolated. There's no one to really help him out, and he's being taken out as well. VZZ is the final damage sword. He cleanses, and it's now a 2v2. It's Click and VVZ oh, versus no. the solo laners of Mobby Star. Marky trying to get in and get himself a little bit extra damage, but they get the root down. He goes golden. They all sidestep a little bit of the damage. Flash forward, and the Talia finds her mark. Finally, they shut down everyone. It's a five for three. The bar went for match go, but nobody's got it on them. Oh, Marky. He's trying to go on top of him. He's going to pop away his ultimate. They're going to jump straight back on the 610. He is the one who gets caught out. Now you can see the ultimate from the Weaver's Wall just keeping everyone oh. involved. And they can't really keep us alive. Anyone else there? They're just trying to throw, throw Super into the front side here. You can see VZZ doesn't really have an opportunity to pop down his feet and do some damage. The dragon is spawning. They are going to root back everybody here. But Alvaro just kind of keeps pushing forward, knowing that he's not going to be dying anytime soon. Three man knockup, though. And the feathers are huge. Are they going to be able to keep them all down? That's the thing. There's goes the Feather Storm. But he doesn't oh. have the cooldowns ends up being another five kills going over to Mobistar and they'll pick up the dragon now they're picking up the pace. Mobistar doing what they should be doing and punishing Machko for these overzealous attempts at objective setup. Marky does a great job of that one. Oh super easy, easy. Wow. he knows there's no <laughs> ultimate and that's why he feels confident to shotgun himself right into the backside of VZZ. Really well done and again super just kind of proving why he is just such a, a hugely touted talent here in the in the AD carry role. For the moment, everyone's happy to kind of let this one go. Good wards on the backside of this Baron pit. Oh, Isma. Try and catch up on Isma, looking for a little bit of engage. He's going to be able to find it. He jumps straight on the VZZ, who does cleanse, does ult, and does bring his ult back. But I don't know if it's going to be enough. They do take down Isma, and now they're going to try and take out Marky as well. But Marky right in the middle of everybody. He's just doing so much without taking much at all. Finally gets taken down and shut down. It's a two for two, though. That's still good here for Machko. Can they get 610 out? Oh, he fell those stones whispering past his butt cheeks as he gets himself back to here but i mean they can still go for this they still have a kaisa you have to really want your target asap otherwise things start to get really awkward underneath the tower yeah as long as this game goes on we're gonna see Ooh, more and more click. damage coming in click gonna have to use his ultimate just to survive 
does actually survive for the moment. They are showing in a fair bit of damage. They even commit Isma's ultimate, who has to flash away. That was very aggressive. Whoa. Alvaro tries to go in with the ultimate. The Magnet Storm's now been used. They're kind of a bit oh, scrappy gosh. right now. Marky, though, runs in, gets the damage down, and Isma picks up 6-10. Now 4v5. It does feel like Mobby Star can start to take these structures. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they could even just go towards the end here. I think they might have enough space for it. Ocean Soul still ticking as well, don't forget. Bases will come out, refreshed health bars, but Machiko, last legs. Oh, they get the knockdown, they get the crash in. VZZ is dead, you have no damage left, Machiko. And Mobistar Riders have completed the snowball here in game number one. They had a game plan, they executed it beautifully. And it is going to be them taking game one of this best of five. Really well done to the Spanish first seed here. in the legs of Jinx and Tristana, but I just want something else. I want something like the Jax, potentially, that can go up against things like uh, the Jinx and the oh, 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 oh. Absolutely okay. fantastic. Maybe looking for a way in now. That top lane trade isn't really going to amount to anything. So he's going to flash oh, wow. over the wall. No flash on VZZ. No flash on VZZ. Okay. He's going to have to try and get away from this one here, but like trying to keep everybody away right now. Level two, we're going to see VZZ getting stunned up, but he's going to have a cleanse to get out of this one here. <laughs> Click might have sacrificed himself, oh, and he does. No. First blood to Alvaro. Yeah, the only real problem is that that first blood went over to Alvaro. Now they want to redive potentially onto VZZ because he's got flash those from the spell super. Got no summer spells. Okay. Now Supo underneath the tower. He's taking in all the tower Wait. shots and he knows he's dead. Seaboy stays alive and that means he gets himself a little bit of healing. Now Isma will clean up that kill. Can he get out with his life? Oh, oh my lord. Thinking about playing the game right now. It is 3v2, but you're on the dragon. The ocean dragon, very difficult to kind of make this one work. They're going to confirm it, but they're going to lose a kill off the back of it. Really well done here by the support of Mavistar. Yeah, Marky almost got himself up to the Mega Nar, but just a little bit too late on it. Now we're going to see them nicely buffered there from the ultimate. Now the Ornhorn comes out to try and fully disengage. Just actually leaves it and says, you know what, it's fine. But Marky hops back over the wall. Will he be able to catch out Acidy? He should be able to confirm this kill. One more auto attack knocks him down. And again, we're seeing this kind of constant move oh. as VZZ. He's going to have to flash for flash as VZZ just taking a really poor trade of it. One more oh. Q, one more auto, but Supa's underneath the tower. And that's a trade of one for one. <laughs> so really well done there from Mavisar to not go super crazy. VZZ though, completely isolated and you just get obliterated. Flash with the ultimate from Alvaro. 6'10", not going to be losing his summoner just yet, but the pressure, you can see Mobistar kind of building up this momentum and just really punishing. Oh, Maybe. they do want his flash and they will get it. Exactly, no rocket jump still. They're going to actually go for it again. The oh, rocket jump, it drops it oh. twice! <laughs> uh, you know, willing to consistently throw their lives away for. Yeah, VZZ now taking a 1v1. Wow. It's going to be 1v2, super. Oh my god. Able to go up in the flat and the feathers flash away as well. He's going to get jumped on though straight away. I don't think he has the damage to do it. Finally gets the shutdown here. Alvaro does have a little bit of support coming in. They might want to try and take this fight because you can see for Scowie having a little bit of a 1v1 there with 610 off the back side. Now his was in a Just little bit of trouble. House. A double knock up though. And there's going to be the charm coming in as well. Gore, Gore Drinker, three man knock up. And Machko want to take this fight. They want this 3v3. It's a shutdown. It's a hop, skip, and a jump. And they're trying to take down everybody. They're not quite able to get it. They get it. Oh. Power and blast goes. Double kill. And 610 wants the triple. He's not quite in a position, though, to go for it. But that's the exact kind of play that Machko needed to kind of stem the bleeding in this game. Yeah, he's hit a little bit too much. Click now moving in on the Super, who does not have his ult for five more seconds. He doesn't have flash either. They get the knock up. Go. They get the kill down. He's going to be exploded. They're going to be able to get resets. Now they can look for the Cataclysm. They're trying to see if they can get everybody in. They're going to get the three man knock up. They do sacrifice the Jarvan, but can six can take down for Scowie. He cannot oh. just yet. There's too much CC. He's charmed and he's getting rocks thrown at his face. Oh my day, 610. You know, maybe just kind of relax a little bit. I know it didn't work in game one, but in game two, I feel like you should have went with something a little bit different. They could get their base cracked open. There's all five members here from Mavistar. They really could. Let's see what they can do. I mean, it's a last ditch effort. Old almost on its way, surely. No, oh, the knockback is good. The Orn Ultimate is there, but Jarvan's already been taken down. The just tower's the gone as well. Marky's building up towards the Mega. They can't defend this. Mavistar listening to the LS in the back of the brain. Don't take the inhibitor. Yep, and I mean, that's just been the calling card of Mavistar throughout a lot of this tournament. As oh, maybe they find Marky here. Really poor positioning. Oh. oh. Yeah, I don't know if you want to commit to this one here. Z-Boy's thinking about it, but now He's they've got the Weaver's Wall. You're all trapped here, and you are going to get like lambs to the slaughter. You don't have Acidy to stand forward. 610 now gets absolutely shredded. 
by those feathers. And honestly, this could be a quick game. This could be a 20 minute one. Cause what a fantastic ultimate on the VCZ. Then they get the damage down. That's the question. Flick still staying alive for as long as he physically can, but he goes down. Marky getting himself up to Mega once more as the Gnar ultimate. But I mean, straight up, if they had a minion wave top, this could have been it. They are going to have the inhibitor respawning in a minute. The dragon hasn't gone down just yet. Marky's going to lose a fair bit of HP and he's going to go into mini as well. So he's dead and there's not really a lot else to kind of come out of that one here. Shut down, given over to the Jarvan. They fully loaded onto it, but Mavistar recognized this. There's nobody to engage upon them on the top side, so they'll break open the base once more. Without Marky, though, they've got to be very, very careful okay. as here comes the re-engage. They get the Ornhorn out, lands on the Supa, knocks him up. They're going to try and get Alvaro with the quickness, but he only lands onto the Orn, who's already unstoppable. Z-Boy over the side, just kind of constantly threatening. He just needs one good engage, one time to get on top of everybody. There's a jump in from 610. They're going to look for it now. He's going to try and jump in on top of the uh, Alvaro and the rest of his team. He will go down for his life, but can they get the damage down? That's question! Oh my lord! That was a big knock-up coming in from Click, and now the rest of the team can start to follow up. They'll get for Scowie. They'll get the Zaya. They haven't got time towards this Baron, but they can reset. They can go for it. Can kind of get their lanes in order. This is a lifeline. Let's see what Movistar can do. Seaboy can't make a mistake like this. This portion of the game oh, now could no. bleed into more. It could well bleed into more. They're not going to get BZZ just yet. He will get himself away into the corner. So he's still putting out damage. You can see Supa now oh, moving in. Three-man no, knockup is good. They knock back Supa, but Marky's on the side. And he's just going to be able to kind of zone in onto this AD carry. Machko tried, but a triple comes in. Let's make it a quadra for Supa. And Mavistar, we're done with your delay tactics. They want to go to 2-0. He's done his best he can this game. Well, the Spanish representatives are going to go to up and match code. Well, frankly, they need a miracle to make a reverse sweep happen. A Pena kill for Super to close out this game. <laughs> what a series it has been for Super, for Movistar so far. Obvious choice. Would you lock it in? Yeah, I would like All it. Right. I think what it does too is allows you to play Sejuani, Renek, and Nautilus, which actually allows what we're seeing from the LFL players. What's Seaboy going to do here? Is he going to start on the Raptors, try and get level two, and then wrap back around? There's a ward, so yeah, Mobistar actually leaving. see what's going on. Oh god, on. it's 4v4. Let's get ready to rumble! The strike misses, and oh my lord, I've never seen everyone clumped up and not get hit by anything. We see 610 now hopping back into lane. Try and get oh, this yeah. like Just try and get this Kled to a point where he becomes a bit of an unkillable demon. Oh. Flash forward into the kill. Maybe it's oh. remounted though. And then Marky has okay. to deal with it. And that is what you need. And he will get himself dismounted once more. But Acidy getting a solo kill is the win condition now. Movistar have been the better of the two teams when it comes to finding engages constantly time and time again like this. Yeah, Supa now putting in work here. The Ignite went down. Supa over the wall, though. Feeling confident. Going to force a flash here out of the Zeri. They've got Seaboy coming in. They don't have the flash available for ZZZ. Movistar have numbers, but again, okay. match coat. Oh, Ooh. they've swapped positions, and now they're going to look to try and burn down on Alvaro. He's still very tanky. He gets himself a nice little hook out, Ooh. and the charm is good as well. That's decent damage coming out. They'll trade it back, support for support. So look to try and maybe turn this one back around. Seaboy will have a remount in a second or two, but he tries to get away from this one here. They're not quite underneath the tower. Isma going in. They finally get the kill down. Two for one, and every single time match go go for something, Mavistar step up to them and say, we're just better. And now we might see a 3v3 in this bot side. Level 6 just get hit by VZZ. Seaboy trying to see if he can remount here. Alvaro gets oh, knocked no, back no. and they get themselves a lightning crash. Supa not really touched in this fight right now. VZZ trying to put in the work as well. But Seaboy's going to be the first one to fall down. Supa picks himself up. Another kill. The 19-year-old sensation from Spain is still putting in work. And a double kill goes over to Supa. Really, really overforced from Machko. It feels like they're just desperate. Looking for plays when and where they can. Great oh, flash. flash. Slight age mismatch. Super is 22, not 19. My maths just completely <laughs> went wrong there. You know, it's 20, 2019, it's not 2023, but now we're going to see a 3v3 in this top side. They get promising. the Magnus Storm, three-man knockup. It's promising, but is it enough? They will take down Marky. One more auto attack is needed. Click has the flash. He still can't oh, take him down. No. How does Marky survive that? Finally, they get the remount, and they can maybe look to take him down. A good Q. Marky gets taken away. Two kills. Machko fighting tooth and nail. They are trying to keep this game, this series, their hopes of this season alive. I, don't I think it's still safe to say Movistar should be in relatively commanding position here as uh, uh, that is a bit of a moment there. Acidy knows he's dead regardless. Wow. So he's just trying to get back the remount. Really, really well done there by Super. 
for the moment, Isman Alvaro now putting themselves behind Machko, who are sitting here four man strong. They have Acidy coming in here. There is a teleport to be used. Alvaro getting knocked up and burnt down very quickly. He has to flash away. They you get the Feather Storm out, a double knock up as oh, well. No. Marky jumps in to try and make this one work. A good crash down to try and get him back, but Acidy is dead. Flash forward, a super wants to end this one with a double kill. He may look for a triple kill. He's got the lightning crash to try and burn down Click, but two kills is easy. And again, they can turn and burn for the big purple worm. That's four members, if not five, oh, coming no. in for this. But maybe they want to try and make this one work. They're kind of separated uh, right now, if I'm being totally honest. But Mavi Star Riders looking to see if they can maybe make something work here. They're going to get engaged upon. It's only a knock up onto Isma, who should be able to Arctic Assault his way out. Here comes Super. They've engaged on top of the tanks right now. Calling Hex Flash in. We're going to be able to land right on top of EZZ. Super wants all those kills. And he wants everything given to him. It's all about the stats, baby. Mavi Star ready and willing willing to take a fight even when Machko were hiding in the brush. Let's see, maybe Frescawi makes an error. Hex flash. They're gonna look. Yeah. yeah, they're gonna get luck. They're only gonna get Isma. TP coming in here as well from Marky, but they're able to get some decent damage down here and Super not able to try oh, and throw boy. back onto the carries, but there's just not enough in the tank. It looks like Movistar wanna end this one right here, right now. They're looking for the ace quadra kill for, for Skawi. And I mean, look, that's gotta be it. That's gonna be the game. A 3-0, you would almost imagine, coming out here from the Super League of Champions. And Movistar, they looked unstoppable. That they do. The Mavi Star Riders will be going to Montpellier. The representatives from the Super League are the number one seed. Book their flights.